Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with Georgia lying by my side and together we're speaking about um, the celestial transits that are coming in the next week and how it affects us all, all zodiac signs. So, <clears throat> this is an intense period but we've had this kind of lowered intensity and allowing us to pause for a minute, allowing us to relax for a minute, allowing us to recuperate from the race over the last week and at least for me it was as such I, I allowed myself to relax more, I allowed myself to not be as strict as I usually am with myself and I needed that. How was your last week? <clears throat> and what are we heading into next week? So, the energy in the sky is building up. It's in an upward graph over the next few weeks, over the next two weeks actually, as we are heading to the last supermoon of 2019 that's going to actually occur on the vernal equinox on the northern hemisphere and the autumnal equinox on the southern hemisphere. That's going to happen on the 20th or the 21st of March regarding where you are around the globe. But at that time, the full moon is going to be closer to Earth and the energy build up towards that time is immense. And we're going to feel it already toward, uh, through this week. And the energy coming through this week is an energy that demands, or not that doesn't demand, but um, supports re taking responsibility and moving ahead in life and things that have a strategic uh, aim to them in our lives, serious things, growing up, aligning, doing the mature and responsible thing, putting things in order, so to speak. So we've had this time to uh, recharge and now it's the time to make the next step. We are having on Saturday the Sun, sextile Saturn and uh, I think it was on Wednesday that we're having it sextiling Pluto. It's a time that serious matters that could develop transformation, self-transformation, taking that next step and building that upgraded version of yourself and of what you do and create sun. <clears throat> and, and allowing yourself to be influenced through relationships and through what truly satisfy you because I see a sextile as if you put a Venus in the middle okay so allowing ourselves to draw more satisfaction from our creations and from what we do and to draw inspiration from people around us and actually transforming ourselves and what we do into a higher better version of ourselves First the alignment with Saturn, and then the transformation, the inner emotional, psychological transformation. So, we're having that on Saturday, and it will still affect us during the week. That Saturday is a bit tense. Be careful not to be too judgmental or too dramatic, as there is a square to the moon uh, between uh, the moon and Saturn and Pluto that day as well. Nighttime is a lot nicer. Sunday, um, allow yourself to step out of your routine and do new things, exciting things, maybe even things that have the betterment of your society or group um, as, as a priority. Um, the 11th Monday is, uh, let's see. Well, the 11th, we have a conjunction between the Moon and Mars. So I would say be careful from being too <coughs> um, confrontational on that day, from uh, allowing yourself to get agitated over nothing or to react to agitation from your environment. Um, other than that, it could be a good day to take work-related issues further and 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 uh, actually progress them if we're not too pushy because there's a very thin line between aggression 
and assertivity, which is a wonderful thing. Um, Having the right balance could really make us feel nice on Tuesday. Tuesday is really a sextile trine kind of day in the sky. It means it flows much easily and uh, we can actually heal some of our emotional wounds as there is a sextile to Chiron as well. This is a great day for intimate communication. It's a great day for... Um, if you, if, you, if you were planning a talk with someone close, excellent day for that. For building bridges and mending, mending torn uh, relationships. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, well, could be a little too intense. But if we take that intensity and we draw it into something intimate, maybe even sexy, it could be a good thing if we go and create something musical or artistic with it or we cook something with this energy that's great but we need to actually um, um, utilize it in, a, in some sort of manner and channel it or it might make us unsatisfied and frustrated that's wednesday for you and thursday we're having the sun square jupiter uh, <laughs> And the sun square Jupiter, which is, is, is affecting us, Georgia, you're moving the camera again. Um, the sun, the sun square uh, Jupiter, which affects us all through the week, is really a warning. It's a time that can get a lot of energy and optimism and, and a feeling that uh, everything's going to be all right. You know, we're, we've got this. The salvation is coming. But... We can become too naive, we can become too optimistic, we can adapt a happy-go-lucky manner that really isn't realistic and jump too high too soon and go over the top. And if we are too extravagant, if we are untactful, if we are indiscreet over this week, there would be implications. And that square, since Mercury and the Sun are in Kazemi, uh, I think it's, it's Friday, the day after that. So we have this square to Jupiter between Mercury and the Sun. So it's not only what we do and how we create things and how we build things in our lives and who we are, it's also how we speak and the ideas that we progress and the words that we utter and the ways that we do business and commerce and interact with our, with our society and with our near environment and with our uh, uh, larger family. You know, our brothers and sisters and co-workers and so on and so on. So if we are uh, professional and if we are, re if, if we remain uh, with humility, if we remain composed and, and, and we see things through in a responsible and um, thought through manner, then this week could be amazing. It's only if we lose ourselves into grandiose schemes and become too much and then uh, uh, expand in a way which isn't sustainable, which couldn't be sustained, couldn't be actually backed up by reality that we can fall. Uh, what what is helping us see the strategic effect effect of things and actually uh, um, take action in a more adult and responsible manner is the trine between Mars and Saturn, right, Georgia? Um, on Friday, Georgia, I'm shooting a video. You can't do that to my hand when I'm doing this. Anyway, Friday is the Kazemi, it's an inferior conjunction between Mercury and the Sun. In ancient astrology, an inferior conjunction between Mercury and the Sun would be more about earthly manners, how we interact with our brothers and sisters, how we have commerce, how we, how we have business, how we draw up agreements, and our relationships with our extended family, as I said. All of these things that are off this plane that are off this world um, and, and not higher in our mind's eye 
are are really um, this is really an important time to take time and visualize and maybe have a small ceremony and actually plan out really plan out and summon how you want this relationship to be shaped how you want your way to go what's your next few steps you know in your commerce in your business in your um, studies whatever it is in your life right now that needs to progress that needs to find its route forward then Friday would be an amazing time to take some time and visualize it and actually have a small ceremony and uh, to plan and actually implement that energy here on the ground summon it um, Saturday the exact square between Mercury and Jupiter so be careful with what you say and be careful also not to be lacking self-security and and and, uh, and a sense of uh, <clears throat> of being good enough because we could really hurt others by acting out from our own insecurities on that day it's a really great day for any physical activity for going out to nature it's a good day between men and women we could channel all that energy into intimacy on saturday it's a great day to be with family as the moon is within cancer or with good friends anyway that's about it for private lessons consultations or courses we're opening up a beginner course online an hour and a half with me each week and at the end of it you could read charts and open charts yourself um, it's I think it's seven hundred and fifty dollars US dollars it's about 15 lessons and if you're interested just contact me I want to thank you for forwarding this I want to thank you for sharing this and I want to thank you for commenting on behalf of Georgia and myself have a beautiful week. Live long and prosper.